Go on, Ray, get on. Very good performance for Old City and a very solid point. It's time for revenge. Yorkshire takes on Lancashire, Tigers take on Rovers, and 16th takes on 6th. A win would be incredible, a draw would be fantastic, and a loss, well, to be expected. Today will be loud, scrappy, and most likely going to be a close game. With another two players added to the horrible injury list for Hull City, we may be in for a battering. Today is massive as Tulsa City take on Blackburn Rovers in the 42nd round of the most exciting and most competitive league in the world, the EFL Championship. The Tigers on the back of an incredible 1-0 win over playoff contenders Millwall. We're starting to get the fans in, the players are starting to play well and Liam Senior is finally bringing confidence into the team. But the Blackburn Rovers, it's quite a different story. The last couple of weeks have been very up and down. Only one win in the last five games, three losses and one draw to Huddersfield Town. Who? To be honest with you, are doing brilliant at the moment and fair play to them. But as always, here's all the information you need to know about today's 7.45pm kickoff. Today, we take a look at the host and play off chasing Blackburn Rovers. Blackburn have had an incredible season so far, as they currently sit in the playoff spots and 6th place in the championship, with 19 wins, 5 draws and 16 losses. Today, the Rovers will hope to smash the Tigers and keep up their black pudding delight. Now we move on to the history between the two sides, and I must say, it is not close at all. Now they played each other on 68 occasions, with the Tigers winning 16 times, Blackburn winning 35 times, and respectively 17 games that ended in a draw. The last competitive fixture ended in a close 1-0 win to Blackburn Rovers, with a goal by Sammy Smodix, a man who scores every single time against us, making sure that we couldn't go home with any points. Now the thing about Sammy Smodix, Somehow, he scores every blooming game. I mean, at the start of the season, we played against Peterborough in a pre-season friendly. Uh, we lost 3-0, playing our strongest team, and Sammy Smodic scored too. It's not looking good today. Today is a very special day for me. My first visit to Ewood Park, home of Blackburn Rovers, such a famous and old monumental stadium, and I'm really looking forward to get there. I think it's about a two-hour drive, so hopefully we can get there in time, and hopefully there for a good win. Well then, that's enough from me at my home. I will see you once we arrive in Blackburn and there at Ewood Park. Come on the Tigers, we can do this. If we can beat Millwall, there's always a chance to beat Blackburn Rovers. So get us on. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hello and welcome. After a long two and a half hours, we finally arrived here in Blackburn, near Manchester, and here at the famous and classical Ewood Park. Now this stadium is monumental. It's held Champions League nights, it's held European glory, it's held Premier League glory. And you can tell because they've got a food stand built into the stadium. If that doesn't show how old it is, I don't know what will. Now the game itself we know is gonna be very difficult. Blackburn Rovers, a team sixth in the championship, I think they've even dropped out maybe to 7th, so they have to win today. It's a must-win game for them if they want to keep their playoff dreams alive. And for them, I hope they do go up. They're a monumental club who deserve better, and the players they've got, I know Ben Berrison's leaving at the end of the season, but they've still got an immense and Premier League quality squad. Now the time is exactly 7 o'clock. The lineup has just been announced. <laughs> I'm not sure what to make of it. I really don't know. There's a guy on the bench called Taylor. I've never heard of a Taylor at Old City. So I'm sure it's probably one of the under 18s or under 21 squad. Harry Wood's on the bench. Well, the main news is Harry Vaughan, the 19 year old, who hasn't made his professional debut for Hull City yet, been in the under 21 set of the full season, is starting today. Now that is very harsh on Ebi Owe, a man on love from Crystal Palace, a Premier League team, and a starting a player who's never played for Hull City before. Oh dearie me, I'm not sure what to make of it. We really are to the skin and bones. Let's not beat around the bush anymore. Here's your lineup to take on Blackburn Rovers. In goal, Carl Darlow. At right back and today's captain, Louis Coyle. A left back, Callum Elder. The two centre backs are Jacob Greaves and Sean McLaughlin. In midfield, Ozan Tufan, Regan Slater, Jean Michel Seri, Adama Traore, and the 19 year old, Harry Vaughan. And up front, Alia Syed Manet. I'll tell you what, I'm buzzing for Harry Vaughan. Such a lovely lad. You know, he's a shy guy. Brilliant footballer, the future of Hull City, and he starts his first game today. 
hopefully he makes an impact and imagine a debut goal here at Ewood Park it's a thing of dreams now today we're joined by a special guest and that special guest is the birthday boy Leo turns 18 the big one finally an adult had his first pint or say a legal pint eh mate <laughs> how are you pal have you had a good birthday up to Brett hopefully a win it's going to be a tough game the lineup's a bit stinky let's be honest We've seen Blackburn's lineup. That is playoff quality. What's your score predictions? Well, before the game here, because I'm 18 now, I put a bet on. I put a bet on for Hull his to first win. bet. <laughs> Hull, Hull to win 2 0. So and he's lost his money. <laughs> going to stick with that. And hopefully it comes through and I win that money. Who's going to score? I don't even think about that part. Um, <laughs> two fun and a derby. Can you tell he's already had a few pints in? Oh dear. And somehow, right? Out of 3,000 away seats, we've somehow ended up sat next to each other. I mean, the look of that. Hopefully, that look can be transformed into the game and we get the three points. The atmosphere's already ecstatic here in the away end. Inflatable bananas, balloons, and everything you could expect at a football game. It's been brilliant. Hopefully, we can get the result. Not a packed out away end, quite poor, but at the end of the day, it's a Saturday night. It's been moved because of sky, and everyone's going to get home early hours of the morning. You have to appreciate everyone who's here. Come on, City. And here we have it. All City take on Blackburn Rovers in the 42nd round of the championship. Incredible atmosphere. Everything's been thrown everywhere. We're in for a good one. I'm not too sure what to expect of the lineup. But let's just have to wait and see. The season's about finished. Let's just enjoy it. A banana's just been thrown at me. Absolutely fantastic. And the kickoff has been won by Blackburn Rovers, and it will be number eight. That man who scores every time against us, Sammy Smodics. It's good though that they take kickoff because that means we'll be shooting towards the away and towards the atmosphere in the second half. And hopefully we can get behind the players and get a result. Come on, City! Half the team taking the knee, half the team clapping. Come on! Any minute now. Here we go. Go on, Ozan. Oh, fantastic start. That is so, so poor. Louis Cole missed times the header. He wins it back perfectly. Ten minutes in, and up until the last two or three minutes, been fully Blackburn Rovers. They've had the opportunities, they've had the chances, they've been creating possession, and they just look like an absolutely incredible team. It's just a shame they can't shoot, or else they could be top three, top four. I mean, the problem is they haven't scored in four games. So today could be the day where they get caught up and get four or five against us. But let's keep positive, we haven't conceded, and it's not like we've been outplayed too badly. We're keeping ourselves in it. I also have to bring some very unfortunate news. The stewards have taken away our inflatable ball and the fans are not happy. We've travelled hours. We want our ball back. What do you think, Leo? It's, it's very far. Well in, Carl! If this man doesn't sign a permanent, I think I'll cry for three weeks straight. He's what a player he is. 20 minutes in and I can't lie to you. This is a boring game. Like, now to it. The most exciting bit has been the fans, the atmosphere, throwing things about. It's been fully Blackburn Rovers, but they can't take the chances, so they're just passing it around. But hey ho, we haven't conceded. I'll happily take a nil-nil draw. It'll be boring. Not a great watch for the vlog, but it's a decent point on the way against a very good team. Go on, Regan. Go on, Regan. This isn't the that'll do. 33rd minute, and I've got to be completely honest with you, it is just dire. It, there's not not too much into it. The most exciting thing that's happened in the last 10 minutes was the inflatable banana reappearing. 
But hey ho, it's not been a bad performance, just not a lot to it. Passing it a lot round the back, which I'm not the biggest a fan of. But hasn't made any mistakes so far, so we we'll keep positive and hopefully we get a goal soon. I'll keep it nil nil, no problem with me. Now that was close. That was very, very close. This could be it. No, because he's got a touch like Lukaku. That is not a pen. No chances on a pen. There we have it. These are not happy. These are not happy at all. Go on, Ali. Oh, dear. Oh dear me. Oh. Jacob Graves, that's brilliant. Oh, I can't. This is too much going on. Well out, Ozan. Go on, Harry. Go on, Ozan. Oh. Well in Callum! Tremendous today. Well in. Oh! Sean McLaughlin! <laughs> Fair play to the guy. Won't be able to have kids, but still want a clearance. Alright, it's 42 minutes and uh, it's, uh, it's been shocking. Just nothing's happening. <laughs> Cheers, Leo. Yeah, I've got to be honest with you. This has to be one of the dullest games this season. I mean, in terms of a Blackpool, Blackpool, Blackburn fan, it's, it's been all right. They've had a lot of opportunities, but for us, it's just been passing it around, giving it away, you know, getting sloppy with it, but it is what it is. I mean, it's just how you got hold used to be. Like, again, we're just passing it. We get an opportunity to push forward and we pass it straight back to Carl Darla. And yes, he's a brilliant keeper, but that's why he's a goalkeeper. He isn't Perlo, he's not gonna pass it around the pitch and we'll find 90 yard passes. 45th minute, and that's to be expected, one minute of added time. Fun. I'm looking forward to me pie. I'm not. He's not, he's had his pie. We're at a good pie. No, actually no, it's quite good to be fair. Very contradictory. And there we have it. Half time, nil nil. Oh, oh just boring. Half time then here at Airwood Park, nil nil, and it's your proper nil nil bar draw. Nothing to it. The most exciting thing has been the inflatables thrown around. The fans have been great, don't get me wrong. There's only there's only so much a fan can do. People behind me can see me. That is very cheeky. If you're watching this, I'm not a weirdo filming myself. I'm vlogging. Now in terms of opportunities, for Hull City there's only been one. Regan Slater, 20 yard shot, tested the keeper, but that's been it. Blackpool have had the majority of Blackpool. I keep saying Blackpool. Blackburn have had the majority of the chances. Main one being Tyree stolen one on one with the keeper, but he just couldn't hit the target. We really need to up our game today. It's not that we've been bad, we just haven't done a lot. Harry Vaughan's looked promising, giving it everything. A real player who plays for the badge. Ozan again, great. Ali are decent. No one's been poor. Greavesy hasn't been his best. He doesn't know what's going on half the time. I mean, he had the ball for about 20 seconds. The fans are getting on his back. And he's a club legend in my eyes. Through the academy, did so much last season. Did so much at the start of the season. I just don't want him to let it down. And be a bit like Zlatan, or Pogba's ending for Man United. You know, turn him sour. <laughs> On the bench then, we've got a very solid bench today. Malcolm Ebiowi, Xavier Simons, Greg Doherty, no Ryan Longman. And then we've got a couple of the youngsters. Oh, and Ryan Woods, he's not going to get on the pitch, is he? I mean, I'd love to see this Taylor guy on the pitch make his debut. I haven't really heard of him before, but I'm sure he's done something to impress Liam. I just feel bad for players like Malcolm and Xavi, who deserve to play more. But then again, Actually, Malcolm's not warming up. I don't know what's happened. I think he's been dropped completely. Either that or he's coming on. We'll have to wait and see. Second half then, just anything will be better. Just look lively, create chances, do something. 
is a not a lot more you could really see. A stop the atmosphere, keeps the players going, and hopefully we can see Harry Vaughan scoring a 1 0 winner. Up the Tigers, I'll see you all very soon. And the Tigers are back out, and it will be number seven, Ozan Tufan, to kick start the second half. Come on, City. Let's keep a good atmosphere in and hopefully get the win. We'll be shooting this end now to make it a goal on Camerunos. Go on, Regan, already. Oh. Oh. Go on, Ali. Go on, Ali. Oh, oh poor Harry Vaughan. He tried, he's tried. Oh dear. Oh no! How was I not a red? I thought it was last man. I think that's as close as you can to a penalty as a free kick than I've ever seen. Oh, they put lights on as well. Giving us better lightning. Lightning, lighting. Oh, Zan, too bad. So, a free kick for Hull City. Jean Michel Seri and Ozan Tufan stand over it. Even Leo's got his phone out. Look, a little momentum for his birthday. Come on. Be sorry to take. Please don't whip it in. Just shoot. Oh! And shoot he did. Go on, Harry. Go on, Harry. Adama. Oh! Brilliant play by Harry Vaughan. Should be proud of yourself, son. 60th minute, and I must admit, the game still being very boring. They got myself a pie. They run out of meat pies. So I got myself a potato one. And I have to admit, it's not the best. Very, very bland. More serious note, it's mesmerising to hear whole City fans in the way end chant Harry Vaughan's name on his debut. He's been absolutely fantastic. Plays for the bad, plays for the team, and he is going to be the future of Hull City. Let's just hope he's one we can keep for a long time. Because uh, how we do it is we get a good player and then sell him on to a Premier League club. But it's early days, it's very early days. Let's let's not get ahead of ourselves. Go on, Alia! Go on, Alia! Why, why is he slowing down for? Where's Harry? Go on. Harry Vaughan, please. Just get it to Harry. Please just give it to Harry Vaughan. Oh! Fantastic stuff. Oh dear. And it's gone. 66 minute. And by the looks of it, the players are getting a little bit tired now. I think Alia has to come off. He's dragging a bit. And I think there is a substitution, in fact. Hellcast is stripped and ready. I presume it'd be Alia. But then again, he could take off anybody. Ozan's not being his greatest. Harry Vaughan's only young. Adama, well, Adama's a one player, one take off. He looks lively, very lively indeed. Just to confirm, the substitution has taken place. It's Demetrius Belkas coming on and Alia Saibanesh coming off. And <laughs> not a lot more to it. Atmosphere's been lively though, I'll give you that. We've lost the ball. 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 We've got the ball. <laughs> Another substitution for Ulster City taking place. Ozan Tuban comes off. Greg Doherty comes on. Fair enough. Again. Not done a lot. Hasn't played badly. But I love the guy. He's just such a sweet guy. Well played, Bit confused why people are leaving in the 70th minute at nil nil, but there we have it. Might have a train to catch. Or maybe expecting more of the performance, that is. Go on! I ain't got pace for that. Oh. How, how's that? How's that? What? <laughs> why is he asking for it to be a car? Oh dear. And it's a corner. Just realising this game's on Sky, I have to feel for everyone watching it on telly. I mean, it's even worse here in the stadium, but there's just not been a lot to watch. I mean, if you flick over now, 
may be able to watch Emmerdale or Coronation Street, one of them will be on. <laughs> Not a lot's happening, as you can tell. Something. Now I'll bring you special banana news. We have spotted the banana again. <laughs> it's behind us. It's the row behind us. And if you couldn't tell, I'm bored. It's not... What an Edison. 80th minute, Leo, take it away. What's happened? Well, nothing's happened. Still boring nil nil. Okay. How's your 18th, mate? Nothing better than a nil nil draw in Blackburn. Oh, no, no. Absolutely <laughs> perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Brilliant. Go on, Demetrius. Go on, Demetrius. Regan! Oh. Double substitution for the Tigers. And it's the man that everyone's been chanting today. Harry Vaughan has completed his debut. Brilliant performance. Uh, coming on, I think, was Xavier Simons and Malcolm Ebiowi. And then coming off as well as Harry Vaughan, Sean Mikel Seri. Well, they are two hardest working players today. Fair play to both of them. Let's hope. Malcolm, o Malcolm, can't get me words out today. Malcolm does something and gets us a goal. Loving it. Fair play to all the Blackburn Rovers fans that have attended. That corner over there is where the atmosphere is. Unfortunately, we can't hear it too well over here because it's the other side of the pitch, but not fair play to them. I hope they do get promoted. I'm not sure if the right thing for them as a club moving forward, think another season and build themselves up. Let's just hope they do well and uh, yeah. See you next season. If not, good luck in the Premier League. Falling in love with you. Oh, Malcolm. Oh, I don't know what's happening. Just wasting opportunities like this we need to be taking. We're just, we're just shimming it and it'll go back. Jacob Greaves will pass it to Carl Darlow. Or maybe not. <laughs> It'll go to Carl Darlow in a minute. Yeah, there we go. Just, oh dear. 90th minute, five minutes has been added on. I'm going to be honest, this vlog hasn't been post-worthy. It has been so dull. There hasn't been a moment of magic in this game. Not one talking pout. Talking pout? Talking point. I mean, the only thing I could probably say is Harry Vaughan's been brilliant. What a debut to remember. Well, yeah, no. I mean... I, no, nothing from me. Not from my end. Any minute now, ref. Another nil-nil. I think it's probably a probably seventh of the year. Unless they score here. I mean, defence has been excellent. Oh, my heart dropped. My heart went to my mouth then. Oh. Well, actually, my mouth is a little bit further up than me art so I, I suppose my art went up <laughs> science oh dear well now we have it very good performance for old city and a very solid point well played the tigers i mean it was very very boring let's not get that wrong but i mean fair play decent point against the top six side i'll see what when we get home well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, what a boring game that was. Hull City nil, Blackburn Rovers nil. And although we didn't lose on Sky, I couldn't think of a worse performance. It's not as if we played badly, but it was just boring. I mean, the attacking product wasn't great today. We could have known a lot better. But then again, you can't complain. We're playing against a sixth place team who are challenging for Premier League next season. So you can't complain. I'm happy with a point. And as I said at the start, nil nil will be fine. So the talking points then, what was there to talk about? Well, not a lot, realistically. I mean, the most exciting thing was the inflatable balls that I keep getting it on my head. But in terms of the match, Tyrese Dolan had quite a few chances for them. Same with Ben Barrett and Diaz. But for us, I think we only had one shot, which was Regan Slater's, which by no means was that great. I mean, it tested the keeper, fair enough. But I think the main talking point is a 19-year-old Harry Vaughan making his first Hull City appearance. And wow... What a debut. The fans already making a chant, singing his name. I mean, you couldn't be any prouder. On to the fans, and both sets of fans were absolutely incredible. Now, fair play to the Blackburn Rovers fans. 
Yes, they didn't fill the full stadium, but not many people do. Not many people do. Not many teams do. Now, it's a Saturday night. People want to spend the Sundays with the family. So, fair enough to you. You were loud, you were lively, and the corner opposite to the away fans were fantastic. On to our next fixture, and it's next Saturday at the MKM for our second... No, it's not. Wednesday. Wednesday. Cheers, cheers, mother. We've got Wednesday. Who are we playing on Wednesday? Oh, Middlesbrough. Hang on there, that's going to be a tough game. Middlesbrough, third place, have just beaten Norwich 5-1. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. That, that is not going to be a good game. Hopefully, we can get something. But let's be honest, Tuba, Tuba Akpom is going to rip us to parts. Let's hope we can get something. That has completely took me off guard. It'll be a great atmosphere. We usually always sell it out at Middlesbrough and they always sell it out at the MKM. So that'll be good. And then following on to that will be our second to last MKM game. MKM game? Second to last home game with Watford at home. And hopefully that'll be a packed out atmosphere as well. Well then, thank you all so, so much for watching. I apologise if the editing's not great tonight. I mean, I've got home. I haven't been well most of the week. And yeah, it's like three... Well, two o'clock in the morning now, so by the time I get this uploaded, it could be three, four o'clock. And with all the editing, I just don't want to. So I apologise if the number, uh, the number, the minute of the game isn't there on the scoreboard or if things are a little bit sloppy, but I will make it up in the next vlog at Middlesbrough. I'll see you all then. If possible, please like, subscribe and turn on notifications. I'll see you all very soon. Up the Tigers and well played today.